Assalamualaikum and good day to all of you. Today, on behalf of my teammate, I'm Yoru Huda Binti Zakaria, Senior Lecturer from Faculty of Business Management, UITM Cawangan Terengganu, Campus Kuala Terengganu, will present our research paper on contributing factors of entrepreneurship preference among undergraduate students. All right, so before we go further, here is our outlines for today's presentation. I will come up with the explanation of introduction uh, covering the objective of study, scope of study, literature review and problem statement. Next, the methodology where I'm going to describe about testable hypothesis used for the study, sampling procedure and also in terms of the data collection method and measurement applied in this study. Then we will look at the result analysis and uh, discussion and end with the conclusion and recommendation. All right, uh, generally entrepreneurship is a process of identification of the opportunity, the allocation of the resources and the creation of the values to help individual lead a business and nature for the growth and prosperity. Uh, the creation of the value is uh, commonly materialized by identifying unfulfilled requirements or opportunities for change. Uh, based on the previous study, it can be concluded that entrepreneur plays a vital role in economic development as a key contributor to technological innovation and a new job growth. Currently, uh, the numbers of uh, entrepreneurs um, around the world uh, is increasing from day to day due to the shrinking in the job or career opportunities. Safety measure in the future, the benefit offered by the entrepreneurship, or maybe because of the ambition of the people to have their own business and or um, to continue the success of their family business legacy. Okay, so the objective of the study are to determine the level of preference towards entrepreneurship among uh, undergraduate students. Number two is to um, study the relationship between attitude of entrepreneurship, subjective norms, perceived behavioral control, and formal entrepreneurship education towards entrepreneurship preference among undergraduate students. And last, to determine the most influencing factor of uh, preference towards entrepreneurship among undergraduate students. While for the scope of study, the study focuses on to what extent variables such as uh, attitude towards entrepreneurship, uh, subjective norms, perceived behavior control that can affect the entrepreneurship preference among students. Beside the study also attempts to discuss the impact of formal entrepreneurship education to the student regarding their intention to become entrepreneurs after they finish their study. Okay. Next is the literature review. All right. So um, based on the finding, uh, the previous study show and justify that there were four uh, domain variables that can uh, contribute to the entrepreneurship reference. Okay, first known as the attitude towards entrepreneurship. Uh, research findings from these researchers have been proven to show that um, both intrinsic and also extrinsic rewards such as uh, financial rewards, the independence or autonomy, uh, personal rewards and also family security may lead to the intention to start a business. While finding from these researchers show that perceived behavioral control and also the attitude to become an entrepreneur are greatly influenced by these social norms. Okay. Next is perceived behavioral control. As reported by uh, Townsend in 2010, the perceived ability affects more greatly on the inspiration to venture into a business compared to a perceived outcome. So in the other words, the individual must initially consider that they have all of the necessary elements to successfully perform the task in starting the business. Okay, 
why for a formal entrepreneurship education, the previous study by uh, Badaria et al. in 2016, highlight that a uh, formal entrepreneurship education help to uh, nurture entrepreneurial mindset among students, which indirectly help to produce entrepreneurs among graduates in the future. Okay, problem statement. So why we choose to come up with this study? All right, um, as entrepreneurship enhancement is uh, one of the key performance indicator of the most country. It has gained a high amount of the attention from the various parties, okay? As a result, entrepreneur is highly preferred uh, by people, especially among fresh graduates, as their career choice. Uh, there were plenty of research conducted to measure uh, most contributing factors in selecting entrepreneurship as a career uh, preference, including attitude towards uh, behavior, subjective norms, and also perceived uh, behavior control. Uh, there were also uh, research that measured the impact of entrepreneurial educational programs, okay, to determine the entrepreneurship preference and intention among students. As UITM is one of the public universities that aim to produce graduates who are capable to utilize uh, entrepreneurship skills in their uh, future career, researchers believe that it is uh, crucial to identify the most contributing factors that may lead to entrepreneurial preference among graduate students in UITM. Okay. Uh, because understanding the importance of uh, fact, uh, factors is very crucial, especially among the academician, uh, where it will um, enable them to provide the best platform and also alternative in enhancing uh, the student concern and also uh, awareness to develop and nature their uh, interest towards entrepreneurship. Okay. Uh, okay, so here is the theoretical framework uh, for our study, all right? So we, uh, the research uh, utilized the four major contributing elements uh, towards entrepreneurship uh, preference among undergraduate students, uh, which are uh, first attitude towards entrepreneurship, subjective norms, perceived behavioral control, and also in terms of the formal entrepreneurship education uh, as our independent wearables or known as the cost. And we also have the entrepreneurial preference among undergraduate students as our dependent variable, or also known as effects. Okay. All right. Next is a testable hypothesis for the study. So uh, we have four hypotheses for the study. So I will skip this one. Sampling procedure. All right. So the sampling frame was obtained from the total number of 1,220 uh, final year students of the diploma and degree programs in the three campuses of the UITM Terengganu. Okay, it includes uh, Dungun, Bukit Besi and Kuala Terengganu campus who have taken entrepreneurship subject in their study period. So based on the population, um, the sample of 350 respondents were chosen the sampling procedure proposed by uh, Kredis and also Morgan was applied to ensure that the statistical power of the sample size is sufficient. Uh, the uh, sampling method for the study was probability approach uh, with the use of stratified random sampling. Okay, by using this uh, sampling techniques, it is uh, possible to have a bigger sample, thus the finding can be fairly generalized uh, to present the uh, population. Okay, so for the data collection method, okay, all the uh, research variable were measured through a pre-formulated uh, questionnaire. So the questionnaire was divided into five sections, which are uh, section A, B, C, D, and E. So they are nominal scale for the uh, section A, while Likert scale was applied for the section B, C, D, and E. Okay. All right, so here is the result analysis and discussion, all right, uh, in terms of the reliability analysis. Uh, based on the table, the variables found to be good and reliable in accordance with the suggestion of a hair at all in 2003, where the value is more than 0 0.6, okay? And next is 
analysis of respondents profile. Okay, so this table summarizes the demographic information of the respondents. The result shows that 54.3% um, of the respondents were male and 45.7 were female. Majority of the students were at the age group of uh, 21 to 22 years old. Okay, so there were seven faculty involved in the study. For, uh, okay, with the highest respondent were from Faculty of Business Management with the percentage of 18.9%, uh, followed by Faculty of Computer and Mathematical Science and also Faculty of Mechanical Engineering. All right, next objective number one. All right, so for the objective number one, that is to determine the level of preference towards entrepreneurship among undergraduate students. Um, the mean score for the entrepreneurship preference among undergraduate students was 4.75 out of 5. Right. So among the four different factors studied, it was found that the formal entrepreneurship education has the highest mean score while the subjective norm recorded at, uh, as a lower score. So this shows that uh, formal entrepreneurship education can enhance and also influence students' entrepreneurial intention. Uh, UITM students have been exposed with the entrepreneurship subject, such as um, fundamental of entrepreneurship for the diploma level, and also a technology entrepreneurship and principle of entrepreneurship for the degree level, which are made compulsory for every student. So uh, this scenario explains the emergence of the entrepreneurial intention among them. Okay, next is objective number two. That is to determine the relationship uh, of the attitude towards uh, entrepreneurship, subjective norms, perceived behavior control, and formal entrepreneurship education towards entrepreneurship preference. So for the objective two, person correlation was conduct to examine the relationship between entrepreneurship preference among undergraduate students and that four criteria. So the finding shows that there was a positive and significant association between attitude and entrepreneurship, perceived behavior control, and formal entrepreneurship education towards entrepreneurship preference or intention. Okay. The attitude of student towards entrepreneurship with a value of 0.031 was evaluated by analyzing the motivation of the student to start a business. Uh, most of the respondents agreed uh, that the des uh, desire for the freedom, self-realization and uh, pushing uh, factors plays as uh, important motivators uh, to become entrepreneur. Why the perceived behavioral control at uh, 0.345 showed that individual with a uh, early characteristic and entrepreneurial uh, personality, such as internal locus of control, have higher entrepreneurial control belief that they could be successful. Respondent agreed that having a wealth of experience of being successful will help people to have higher confidence in their ability. Uh, it is made compulsory for UITM students to be exposed with entrepreneurship subject in their study. Hence, it is not surprising to find out that uh, formal entrepreneurship education with a value of 0 0.199 uh, contributes a positive and significant relationship towards entrepreneurship preference. It is consistent with the university role, especially UITM, in developing entrepreneurship uh, among students and producing more graduates with a higher entrepreneurial knowledge, skills, ability, and capability in the market. Therefore, hypothesis one, three, and four are supported. While in testing hypothesis 2, it shows that a subjective norm did not significantly affect entrepreneurial preference with a value of negative 0.349. This infers that those respondents agreed that pressure from the family, friends, and also society has no effect to their preference to be entrepreneur. This finding matched with some previous study, which highlight 
um, uh, that uh, subjective norm is insignificant in predicting entrepreneurial preference. For example, uh, the uh, research by Linen and Chen in 2009 and also research by Purusotama uh, at all in 2020. Thus, there is no a significant relationship between subjective norms and entrepreneurial preference in this study. Okay. Next for the objective three, that is to determine the most influencing factors of intention towards entrepreneurship among undergraduate students. All right. So if you can see in this table, it was found that four independent variables was significant with the value of 0 0.00, 0 0.040, 0 0.000, and 0 0.000 respectively. But the output to beta value of 1.636 suggests that formal entrepreneurship education is the most contributing variable. Although other variables indicate less dominance, there are still needed to be addressed. Okay, therefore, all of the investigated variables are significant towards entrepreneurship preference amongst uh, undergraduate students for this study. Okay, next. All right, so it can be concluded that uh, the study finding revealed that there was a positive preference to become entrepreneur among UITM Chawangan Terengganu students in connection with the variables except for subjective norms. Besides, formal entrepreneurship education was found to be the most influencing factor of entrepreneurship preference among students. Okay. Uh, for the recommendation, uh, future studies should take into consideration that to uh, achieve a higher level of generalization of the finding, future studies should have a bigger population and sample involving more students from the um, higher learning institution in Malaysia. Uh, because sample size of the respondent, uh, we also provide more accurate feedbacks and enhance a better representation of the opinions. And as there were only four variables tests in the study, future researchers may vary the variables uh, by adding more related factors such as uh, personality traits, uh, like um, maybe in terms of the self-efficiency, a need for achievement or tolerance for the ambiguity. Uh, the future researchers may also consider the contribution of the demography and contextual factors uh, such as uh, gender, age or maybe a programs in mobilizing entrepreneurial preference among respondents. This may grant more alternative and opinion to be evaluated. Okay, so uh, that's all from me. Thank you so much for your time. Please do not hesitate to address any question you may have. Thank you and Assalamualaikum.